rallying against racism. That's the message from a group of people in Washington County. Welcome to Coin6 News at 6. I'm Chris Holmstrom. It's been nearly two weeks since the election, and since then, we've seen an increase in racism all across the country, but many hate crimes can be seen here as well. That's why people in our area are trying to rise up and bring equality for all. Our Jennifer Dowling joins us live from a rally in Beaverton. Jennifer, good evening. Good evening, Chris. Organizers describe this as a family-friendly rally. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see how many folks were here. At one time, it looked like there was nearly 100. The crowds have uh, disappeared a little bit, but still strong showing here at Beaverton City Park. Folks here gathering, again, to organize and providing a place for the community to express their frustration. Now, the group says there has been an escalation in threats and violence against women, Muslims, the LGBTQ community, and Jewish people and people of color. Since the election, they point locally to a woman who was recently the victim of a hate crime in Washington County. A young woman who had a brick thrown at her at the Safeway on 185th. And after the brick was thrown out of at her, the three men had the audacity to get out of the car and continue to hurl racist threats at her and sexist threats. The Next Steps follow up um, a lot with Washington County Educate and Organize. Um, we will be having uh, gatherings every Sunday um, to really uh, bring that back in. We are in full solidarity in any resources that they need as far as legislative action, nonviolent direct actions. Teresa Rayford of Don't Shoot Portland says her group is providing support for this group through direct nonviolent action and also through outreach to lawmakers if the group should need help in those areas. Now, the members of Washco Solidarity behind me say they really wanted to gather and see what, how the community here wants to move forward. They also say they shouldn't have to go to Portland to feel safe. They should feel safe in their own communities. Back to you, Chris.